In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus describes for us the blessed life, which is pretty much the opposite of what this world likes, wants, and desires. This blessed life is a life of shining like a light in the darkness, of being salt in the midst of this world. And, and he tells us that God is looking at our heart, that our righteousness that, that we have has got to be something that comes from within us and not just an outward righteousness. So you break the law in your heart before you ever break it out here in the real world, and you do what's right and what's good from the heart before it actually becomes an act out here in the world. There's hypocrites, and then there's genuine people who are serving God, and he wants for us to be genuine in our service of God. He wants for us to put our focus and our, our emphasis on the kingdom of heaven rather than the things of this world. He's warned us that there are false prophets, false teachers, there's a broad path, there's a narrow path, there's a wide gate, there's a straight gate. He's warned us that there's wolves in sheep's clothing. He's warned us that there's good trees and bad trees, and he's warned us that there are many who think that they know God and they're gonna be looking at their righteous deeds to get them to heaven rather than a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that brings us to today and to the decision, the choice. And so he says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built this house upon a rock. The rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. The rain descended, the floods came, the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Wise versus foolish. How many people have built their house upon the sand? The sayings of Jesus have come in one ear and they've gone right out the other. They've not done them. They've not taken his word and believed it and put it into their life and fed upon it and allowed it to change them and to become a part of them. And you watch their house. You see, we're all going to go through the storms of this life. The storm we are not spared from. The rain will fall. The wind will beat upon the house. The question is, is what kind of foundation have we built the house upon? Are we listening to our Lord? How, how do we listen to the Lord? Well, we get into his word. We, we put ourselves under the teaching of someone who is gifted and called by God to help us to understand the word of God. And then we, we take that in and we take it to heart and then we act upon it. We do what he says. We believe what he says. That's the wise man. And that's the rock foundation, that solid rock that even though the storm comes, it's not going to cause the house to fall. And so that's the choice for us. Will we be wise or are we gonna remain foolish and just keep going headlong after the things of this world, going after the, the, the ideas that are contrary to the word of God? Or will we make the wise choice to hear the sayings of Jesus, to believe them from our heart, and then to put them into action and, and in our lives? I just want to encourage you this morning. Uh, the Sermon on the Mount is truly a gem in the word of God. It's power packed with all kinds of of, of wonderful uh, illustration for us, wonderful uh, pictures to help us to understand that Jesus is telling us that we need to, to take our gaze from the worries and cares of this life and to seek for the kingdom of heaven, to make wise decisions to follow Jesus, that we can live this blessed life. We'll start understanding what this blessed life is now but we'll have reward in heaven and we'll truly live a blessed life at that point in time. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.